Welcome everybody. L'chaim. Tonight is the Yerte of Larry's father, Avram ben Moshe Menashe or something like Menashe Zev, Menashe Afraim. I'm not sure. He's on the board, but... <laughs> exactly. He had a Jewish soul, L'chaim. He should go up in, 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 in Gan Eden. Amen. By the way, that's not really part of the class. The class is really tiny and bare. We might have to pick a whole new flyer, tiny and whiskey. Okay, guys. <laughs> So last week, the class was cut short because we remembered that Eric wasn't here, so we had to cut it short. No, we had a technical difficulty. And then, so then once the camera cut out, so we started solving the world's problems. Well, I think the very definition of this class is off the cuff. So you care a lot less when you're off camera. Exactly. It's not right. recording. Exactly, right. You're, 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 gonna, catch, you're gonna catch me on uh, one of those off yeah. camera mics. Tell them I hate you. You're in the car about a minute later. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, so we're talking about over here I don't remember exactly where we left off uh, last week. Um, the, the, the idea is that there's, there's forbidden things, there's permitted things, and then there's things that uh, you classify. You were here last week, yeah? Yeah. That you classify as uh, uh, depending how or, or, or when you do it. So we said there's the, there's the, there's the area of Kedusha, there's the area of Shalish Klippas Atmeas, the three unclean Klippas. And then there's Klippas Neya. Klippas Neya, the translucent. Can you translucent. Write that again? What was it, three? You have Kedusha. Kedusha. Holy. You have Sholosh Klippot Atmeot, the three um, unpure, impure Klippot. And then you have Klippot Noga, the Klippot that the godliness can shine through. So everything we'd call gray, everything we'd call, it's, I'm, not, I'm not hurting anybody, I'm not doing anything wrong, I'm just having fun, is in that, is in that Klippas Neya. So the Alter Rebbe is, is teaching us over here that when we do something, when we do something for selfish purposes, even though we're not breaking the law, you, you're drinking kosher whiskey, and you're drinking kosher wine, and you're having, Michael is not here, and you're having kosher meat, right? And whatever it is, but still the motivation behind it, 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 it it's what renders it is, is either a holy act or is it a selfish act? That's, that, that's the difference. And then we said last week, let's say if you did something for selfish reasons. And you and you and you get you got enjoyment, but that's usually why why you do it because you, you you enjoy it. And then the person does teshuva, he, he repents. So we said last week uh, we, we spoke about this, right? That the, the body still they, uh, still have to go through. It's called kafakela or chibatakev. We look in Kabbalah, different. You know, the, the, the Gentiles just call it hell. You know, Jews, we, we got a lot more descriptions. Hell's not good enough for you. Right? <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, it's so, creepier when you laugh at the end of that. Yeah, uh, 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 right. <laughs> on Halloween. Wait, let me get up. Yeah, let me get up. Pitch, that good enough? Let me get up my pitchfork. <laughs> and then I thought I tucked my tail into. Uh, <laughs> um, so, actually, Kabbalah explains it depends on the nature of the Avera. If the nature of the Avera it was indifference, cold and indifference, and you don't care, then, then the punishment, or so to speak, it's not really punishment, it's not a good word. But it's rectification, the cleansing, however, which, whatever word you want. But I don't want to get too sidetracked. Is it says of snow? Now, obviously, the neshama is not in snow. But just like a person suffers where in the freezing cold, so too the neshama suffers because basically what happens is after the neshama leaves the body, so it, it's not it's now not bound by time. So generally, the way human beings work is we remember our good actions. And we bury our mistakes. We're very good at forgetting our mistakes. I mean, life would kind of be miserable if we would always remember our mistakes. And... No, but, the, uh, but how about you remember your mistakes the same way you remember your good things? Yeah. It wouldn't be so miserable. You'd be honest. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Less but, mistakes. Ah. Uh, less mistakes. Yeah, it's you. Chai brings up a good point. We make, we make less mistakes. So what happens when a neshama... So, so why do we why do we do things wrong generally? We do things wrong is because we're short sighted. Anything that's wrong is not is is not good for you. It, it, now, why do you do it? Because in the short term, you you, f you feel it as it's beneficial, it feels good, and you know sometimes you eat some food, you know has, it has chili, spicy or something. <laughs> My friend sent me a spice. I can't say. I'll show it to you after class. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Not everything I could put up there, right? <laughs> I didn't even know. I showed Michael J. Um, that, that, I'll pass it Is that around. why he's not here? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, it says... We're, too, we're, spicy. Not... Yeah, too spicy. Um, too spicy. 
So, so the, so the, um, so the certain, so why do we do it? We do it because we, we, we feel the, the pleasure, we feel the pleasure now. But, and then later we're like, oh man, I really, I really shouldn't, I really shouldn't have ate that. Yeah, my, my friend sent me this sauce. I don't think it's kosher, but he, he sent me this, uh, we're talking about spicy food. This is also an, an enjoyment. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure it feels good now. I sure, it sure feels good now. But later, I mean, uh, we've all tried this. Right? It's happened. This is something we've all tried. Hey, please, I don't want anyone to know. <laughs> but everything's on camera. So, my friend, my friend, I, I, I'll show you the chat. My friend sent it to me. I promise you, I didn't Google it. <laughs> Exactly. So when did exactly. you try that? I didn't try it. Oh, you tried it. No, no. Yeah, no. you did. So, <laughs> so, anyways, getting back, getting back to um, to right, too many little chayim. We're gonna put too many things on camera. All right, guys, no more whiskey anymore. All right, uh, just stick to beer. Just stick to <laughs> beer. One in, you're about to go. Exactly. <laughs> so, what hap- so what happens? I say I say lachayim with every class. This is my four, fifth, or sixth class today. <laughs> so, um, so, uh, so what happens is we, when we do something wrong, we f- don't feel that it, it's it's. It's um, it's damage, and then later, huh? That short sighted you were talking about. Yeah, like, short sighted. Because it's not good for you. That's the defect in it that we're only able to see the short sightedness. No, no, that's not true. Actually, why aren't we able to always you are, see the long you, you are, version of things? Why isn't that always to. the immediate? Like, because I'm not gonna say like why why is it the Jewish soul evolved? To no, it is. Things? It does actually. Yeah. You're, we're holding chapter seven. Alter is going to talk about this starting chapter yeah, twelve, and it's going to hammer this home. Sorry. Sorry. No, 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 no. That the mind rules over the heart, and the, and the idea is when the impulse, when the emotion says, "I want it," you always have to. So I once heard a great line: Whenever you want to buy something, and you really, really want it, wait till tomorrow. Yeah, Most of the things you really, really want, the next day you're like. Mm. So, so the Yetzirah wants to catch you. you. You ever got caught up in a sale or something? And you realize, afterwards, you're like, why did I even buy that? And you, afterwards, you replay the thing in your mind. The guy didn't stop talking. You, you never have a, t- a chance to process it. Right. The guy, hey, I'm telling you, it's amazing. It's like one of those, what do they call the apartments you buy or something? Timeshares, right? Yeah. Timesh- oh, yeah, it's so great. You can travel the world and everything else, right? Or like uh, Jerry Seinfeld has a joke, but the most embarrassing words I ever uttered in my life is, I want to order the Jinsu knife, right? <laughs> None of my knives can cut through my shoes, right? So, so but that's the way the Yitzhahara works. You do have the ability to see, see they have foresight. The problem, the Yitzhahara tries to cloud that judgment. So the problem is when we do something wrong, it has an impact, it leaves a mark. So then the Shama goes up after 120 years, it witnesses the stupidity of its act. Like, how could I not have taken advantage of doing the mitzvah? Did you mean that literally or figuratively, 120 years? Well, a, a person is, it says, it was read in Regardless the Regardless of though. when you die? It's no, 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 what if I'm young when I pass away? Do I have to still wait? So basically, the Jewish people, we go around and says, how old are you, 120? Sorry. Shh, shh. No, no. So the... Uh, Checked in early. No, the reason why, reason, reason why 120 is because it says in the Torah, Parshish Noyach, gotcha, the ages of man is going to be 120. It's actually Parshish Noyach. Anyway. Anyway. Right. Anyway, so when a person passes away, they, they view... Because, you know, we, um, we're not hindered by time. We bury our actions in the past. And the Shema doesn't have that. So it views its, its um, lack of action when it could have done a mitzvah or its action, um, partaking in something it shouldn't have. And it's embarrassed. So if it was indifference, it, it's, the, it's sort of the, we feel the cold. And so Kabbalah has to put words in it. So it's called it snow. But it's not actually snow. And the heat of shame, when you do something really stupid and you feel shame, so you're burning, you know, you're flushed in your cheeks. That's what the fires of hell are. It's not like, you know, those guys, you know, sit, you know some guy, whatever, whatever they do, whatever they believe, right? Um, anyway, so, 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 there's a, so there's a mark left on. That's why a person has, has to go through cleansing. We don't believe in punishment. Punishment is a very bad word. Because I, like I heard from one guy say that God of the Bible is infantile and, and petulant. And, you know, that's not, that's, not the God we, that's not the God we believe in. God, the, give the example we used last week. God rented you a car, lease, and there's no like you know bumper to bumper insurance. You, you got to bring it back in perfect condition. You don't, 
Well, you're gonna have to pay the you know the uh, the, the cleansing fee. So that that's how we, what we believe in 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 cleansing or rectification or punishment. Now, let's continue. I think we're holding the middle of page one eighteen uh, um, in the old print. I don't think we read that. I think we're holding there, probably in the middle of one one twenty, and all, and and so too with the regard to the vitality. Yes, over there. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So in so it's interesting. So it's interesting. What, what, you guys, what, 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 I'm teaching you Zara. Right? So, but, so, so it's interesting, by the way, the, the view before we before we get into this line, because the Alter Rebbe does the Alter Rebbe does talk about this, mention this a few times in time. The the, the, the view of, of of intimacy, sexuality in 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 the Torah is very very different than than in the um, in the modern day world. So in the modern day world, intimacy is viewed as just an, another act. In, in, in Kabbalah, it's viewed as the absolute union, uh, the absolute connection between one person and another person. It's the only time where human beings can emulate God. It's the holiest act a, per, a person can do. Isn't there like a story there, about the Baal Shem Tov when he went up and he met the Arizal? <clears throat> and he was like, oh, maybe, it was, uh, there are parts of the story I might have wrong, but he was like... Yeah, keep saying the story. Did you have to use these terms to like define things and he's like go ahead take your time think of a better version think of something better and he actually took the yeah, time and he's like no I can't just, like this just a little bit bit like his you know like a, right. a, as explicit as explicit as some people may take right it, there's only one way to like really right I've never I've never heard that story but yeah. you remind me of another story not not exactly in the same thing but once a rabbi, a, a guy once approached the rabbi and says, he says, you know, why do we need the Torah to teach us the laws of humanity? We haven't figured it out. So the rabbi says, okay, tell me something humanity has figured out the Torah, you, you don't need the Torah for. She says, easy, don't kill. It's like, yeah, funny. Three and a half thousand years after the Torah said, you know, don't kill, you came up with the idea not to kill. No, no, give me one of your ideas that the Torah doesn't have. And... And he couldn't come up with one because exactly the way the Torah says it, that's the way to say. It. There is no other. Anyway, so now, so in the, it's a, we spoke about this in chapter two. It's not the first time we're introduced to uh, to Zeda, to to to, to 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 semen. But the idea is is that if you remember in chapter two, we, we spoke about that. If you remember this, that a child comes from a, a father's chachma wisdom. Because when because when a when a when a, 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 a man and woman, a husband and wife, father and mother are involved in the creation of the child, there's nothing else. A person when, he, when he's involved in, in in the intimacy, he's totally immersed in that act. He, sh- he should be. If not, he has a student called a psychologist. That's why he's in, he's in total it, he's in total essence is immer- is immersed in this act. That's why it was said the, the, although it's the semen, it's a very low putrid drop. It's called imperkiyavot. Still, it's coming from the father's chachma. You remember this from chapter two? Yes. Okay. So it says, "Vechein." Let's continue. Vechein. A lot of introduction, not a lot of learning. Vechein. Achayis shibatim shibatim zera. So too the vitality in the drops of semen. Shiotzim men of betayvus behamis. So so there's so there's three different levels of people. Okay. You have Yaakov and Elio Navi. Yaakov and Elio Navi were two of the freaks of nature, meaning they never had. An invo- not involuntary or wasteful admission of sin. Ever. Not in their sleep. Ever. Yaakov and? Elio Navi. Oh, that makes sense. But everyone else, it happens. So there's, there's willful, it happens, and mitzvah. So, so we're not talking about... So, so, so the Alter Rebbe over here, it says in two, in, two, um, in, in two different. So number one, a person, can, a person can do it, and we don't have to get explicit. We're all guys here. We can understand, right? Don't, don't, don't make me don't make me say it. <laughs> just like I had a friend in yeshiva, just for kicks, he would go into the store, young man, and, and he would get and he'd buy a big bag. He would put a big bag of depends, you know, depends, you know, the, the, in in the cart and like and like a, and like um, toothpaste, whatever it is. And he'd come to the counter, and he'd only put the, the 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 toothpaste on the counter, and he would wait for the guy in the counter. It's like, are you getting it? You getting it? What? He, like he'd make him 
be uncomfortable. So don't, 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 don't make me go through it, right? So, so there's the so there's the will, there's the willful there's a the willful um, em, emanation, and then even if a person is with his wife, and it's okay and, and it's holy, shalei kiddush atzmai b'shas tashmis. But a person did not sanctify themselves. That means whenever you do something, there's an approach. You can. You can, you can be doing a mitzvah, but do it all for selfish purposes. There's a story of the Baal Shem Tev. Did you hear the story with the Baal Shem Tev? With the, with, with the guy but with the head of it. The one. Maybe you know. I mean, yeah, usually what helps. <laughs> so, 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 like one, one so, so, so one. Yeah, story I forget all the stories. Did I tell right. you about the time that right. I made a hole in one? Right. <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I'm Yom Kippur, right? No one's there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, the... Um, a little like that, God's, God, God's a wicked sense of humor. Anyway, so what happened was the Al Hashem was by a feast, and the people were totally, they were total, they were very, very excited about, about the Shabbos food, and they were very, very too excited. So the Hashem said, "Everyone, stop for a second. Put your hands on the shoulders of the, your, your friend, and everyone, close your eyes. When they all, when they closed their eyes, they all had the same vision. They saw, they all saw a beautiful Shabbos table, you know, delicious foods." And the guy sitting at the head of the table had a nice. In, in, in some communities, still do this. Chabad, we don't do this, but some people, some people by the Shabbos table, they will, they will, uh, they will wear silk like. Um, yeah, it's yeah, sirtuk. I don't know if there's an English word for it. Like in honor of Shabbos, because Shabbos is the Shabbos meal is a mitzvah. It's a wedding jacket. Huh? It's a wedding. What do you mean? I forgot the word. For it. It's kind of it, like the same as the chassid's wear, like the, a the kittel. silk. I know anyway, it's, it's like a silk thing and a strimal. So they, so the guy sitting by the head of the table with a silk jacket or coat, whatever it is, and and a, and a strimal. But instead of a face of a man, he had a face of a face of a of a cow. So the students opened their mind, opened their eyes, and said, oh, "What's what? going? A cow." Oh. So the students opened their eyes and said, "What's the meaning of this?" He said, "Cause yeah, he was having a Shabbos meal, but he was so." Into the food, he was the cow. And everyone saw the same thing. Yeah. That's why it's a Baal Shanta story. Yes. <laughs> so, so, so you could be doing a mitzvah. You could be doing a mitzvah. Like, for example, it could be the holiest mitzvah. By the way, on a side note, because we're talking about this. Anything that has the more, Kabbalah explained this, anything that has the more, most potential for good is the most corruptible. That's, that, cause, and we started off in chapter 5, saying that God created one opposite the other. Remember that? Just like the soul, the good soul has ten faculties, so does the evil soul. So too, the, the holiest a person can be is intimacy. What's the most corrupted act in, in today's society? Intimacy. Yeah, that, that's mm -hmm. why it is because it has the most potential for good. That's what it is. Now I was watching. I don't know why I do this to myself. You know, different videos. You know, from Israel and everything else. I, I was watching some of these videos that these sheiks or imams or I never, I don't know the difference. Uh, anyway, they're talking about you know, what these guys get. What these guys get? It's all these guys think about. Right. Yeah. It's it's all they think about. I mean, and, and someone asked someone asked the sheikh imam, what did the woman get? So I hear. I mean, so an imam is, is like a chabad. An, an imam is a chabad rabbi, and a sheikh is like a reformer. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't drink alcohol. <laughs> so they're yeah. That, that's why they're secondary, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they don't you know say, what they're what missing. You no, no, no. <laughs> no, I, 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 I'll tell you after, after the recording. No, but, but the guy was saying with the girl, it's 72 versions, they never get sick, they never get the period, and they don't have mucus. He actually said that. Mucus, they don't have something else. I mean, I'm, th I'm thinking, it's interesting, the Rambam writes, when he talks about why we do mitzvahs, he says, don't think like those idiots, those tipshim. So we think we're going to walk around with nice clothes, we're surrounded by beautiful women and delicious food. It's not, it's not what it's about. Interesting. Anyway, but um, well, but that's the but, but but this act is the is the holiest a person can be. So when, whenever you do something special, you have to you have to prepare yourself. You don't just it's not just a regular Tuesday. In fact, if you look in the Siddur, by the way, after Arvit and page one eighteen, right? We finished page one thirty four. So uh, page one forty one or something like that. It starts the prayer for the for the um, Shema before you go to bed. At the end of the Shema, before you go to bed, there's a prayer for before you say before intimacy. You know, you say chapter twenty-three. 
Yeah, yeah. It's in chapter 23. As I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, why do you say that? Because it's an act that could be so holy, but because it could be so holy, it could be so corrupted. So you say, here I'm teetering on the edge, and then there's a line in Kabbalah. I mean, I don't know. You can, you can look it up in, you can look it up in, um, it's printed in the city. So if a person does it, you know, he's doing with the right person, but he's not doing it for the right, right reason. It says in the above instances, going back inside, um, the fault lies not in the act, what you're doing, it's in how you're doing. So, so, so we said last week, when a person does teshuva, so what's teshuva mean? What is regret? What does teshuva mean? You, you did it because you wanted to feel good about yourself. Whatever it is, the cheese danish, whatever it is. So you take, you suck out the, 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 the excitement out of it. So now that, that's what the shove is. You ate a kosher de- cheese anish, but just to be indulgent, you want to stuff your face. But you, you, you suck out the, uh, all of a sudden, the cheese anish is not as attractive anymore. But that's only if the act is okay. But the motivation is a problem. But we're continuing. But in the case where the food is forbidden, but the food, it comes from the three holy, un- unclean klipot. Now, asur over here doesn't mean forbidden. If you look at the English translation, can they are. The, can you tell me the three klipot and the three? The... I don't remember. It's it, it's it's from the it's from the it's from the it's from the prophecy of Ezekiel, cloud, darkness, and uh, it's okay. unknown. Oh, that's, the... that's where it's in the... yeah. Ezekiel's reference. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, but they are tied and bound beyond by extreme, extraneous forces. But in the keyword here is la'olam forever. That means no matter what you do. You could eat the not kosher food and have all the right intentions that I'm going to do the right thing, right? It's, it, it's, wrong, it's wrong is wrong. Like, let's, let's take a modern day example. What, what's so frustrating? Let's say Israel is 100% wrong in how they treated the Palestinians. Let's say, right? It's open Arabs. here, open here, prison. Stop saying that. It's Arabs. Whatever, Arabs, right? Let's say, open here, prison, whatever it is. I don't care. No matter what you say, what they did was wrong. What Hamas did was wrong. I don't, let's say occupier, settler, blah, blah whatever it is. No, no matter how you cut it, it's wrong. Wrong is wrong. So, so this is what he's saying here. Sometimes people can have the most noble intention, but the act is wrong. That, that's, uh, you know, I'll tell you, no, I'll tell you a story. I shouldn't use up all the stories. I'm going to have to recycle them. Another Baal Shemta story. Baal Shemta was once traveling through a town. And, and uh, people were out there to, to see him, to visit him. And a guy in Vashem to called over somebody and spoke to him for a little bit. And, um, and afterwards, and afterwards uh, the guy went away. So the students of the Vashem thought, oh, this guy must be a special person, like a hidden tzaddik. You know, and Vashem had a close connection. So they went over to him, shalom, rabbi, <laughs> scholar, Gaza, who you call like, You! So he said, I'm not a rabbi, you're a scholar. So come on, we saw... Our, our rabbi, the Baal Shem Tov, doesn't make mistakes. And he had a special audience with you, and he was whispering, you know, you know Kabbalistic things, you know. says, so nothing, so come on, tell us the truth. So I promise you, I am not any of that. And I'll tell you the story, he says. He says, I have a best friend. And we, live, we live next to each other. So our families, every Shabbos, we're very, very close. My friend, his business is, he travels... Leipzig. Leipzig is the, was a big city where the, with, with, yeah, where the, uh, where the fear was, and he goes there every six months. So sometimes I, I don't see it, and, and he's there for a long, one time, long time. So one time, I um, says he, he comes back from Leipzig, and and I and I go inside to see him, and I see he left his money, a whole bag of money, which in, the way people would do it, they would borrow and then you know to buy merchandise and they pay back whole wall full of money. It's in, it's in the cabinet in his kitchen. I said, this guy's being very responsible. I'm going to teach him a lesson. So I took the wallet. I wanted, to, I wanted him to be nervous. And then afterward, I'll come back and see him and say, you see, you shouldn't have done it. What happened? Heart attack. Almost. So he said, where is it? He said, I put it there. So he starts screaming at his wife. No, he said, I didn't touch it. And they're turning over the whole house. And everyone's going crazy. And he thinks, he thinks the guy says, I thought to myself, I'm not gonna go now because everyone's all crazy. Calm down. So the guy, the guy fainted. The guy, the guy fainted. And, and, and then what happened? What happened was, so he says, "I go now." He accused me of stealing. I didn't know what to do. So what happened was, the people in the town, ta- you know, the people at the lent the money said, "Hey, what kind of garbage is this? You stole from me." And the guy was going through, and I didn't know what to do. 
if, if to return it, you know, how to return it. So then after a while, Mayitza Har says, hey, you know, the guy was responsible for the money. Maybe, you know, you deserve the money. Then, then Mayitza Tov said, I can't spend the money. Look, look like a thief. He said, go to another city. And he continues t saying how he thought to himself, Mayitza Har convinced me to go to another, go to another city, start a new business, start a new life, and then bring your, and I, and I was going to go. Today I was going to go. But Shem Tov called me over and said, listen here, I understand what you did. But what you did was wrong. And what's wrong is wrong. And your friend loves you. And go to him and explain to him exactly what you did and why you did it. And he'll forgive you. But just do the right thing. And I, that's why I decided I'm going to go give him, give him back the money. You can do, oh, we, find, we find this also, we find this also, oh, we learned this. Remember we learned this with Shmuel? Remember this with, uh, oh, with Elkanah had two wives. Yeah. <laughs> Elkanah had two wives. Two wives. Oh. That's that simple story. Hold on, but, but, but let, let's, not, let's not get... So Penina, Penina was harassing Hannah because she wanted Hannah to pray. <laughs> but, okay, but, well, but let's not get all... Obviously, a lot of stories have different ways of, of you know, of the messages. One of the messages is he wanted her to, she wanted her to pray. So she harassed her. She made her feel miserable. In the end, El, uh, Penina was punished. Why? Because you can have the most noble intentions when you do the wrong thing. But it's the wrong thing. There's no other way to cut, to cut it. You Page know, 19. The only flaw in what Wait, you just said is that the only reason why the punishment ended is because she, she asked for the punishment to end. Chana asked. Yeah, yeah. That, that's how it works. Punishment end because... Yeah, when a, tzad, when a tzaddik prays for you, yeah. Yeah, Chana so was a tzaddik. Punishment... Chana was a tzaddik, ah. yeah. Page 119. Wait, 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 we're saying something. Even if we do something that is righteous, but for example, we're not, I don't know, let's say you give charity, okay, but um, you don't uh, share it with your wife. That you what do you mean? That, that, you, don't that you give and, and that you're, you know, the yeah. amounts that you spend, for example. So, right? Yeah. How is that judged? On one hand, you're, By God. you're hiding or lying to your wife, mm -hmm. right? In, in, in one way. Really On the good. other hand, you're doing it for something good, obviously. A lying would only be if she asked you if you did something and then you lied to her that you didn't do it. Otherwise, fair. you just... Uh, okay, fair, fair, but, but on the other hand... Which is like the best way to get stuck at the beginning. It also, it also depends... On, I think it depends on how you go about it also. Right. Because there are some people who keep, who keep, their, who keep their good deeds keep their good deeds um, a secret from everybody even their wives I mean that's classic though like when you have these uh, these guys that people are like whatever about and then they pass away and suddenly all these people are like coming back and, like, it's not a classic story that like someone came to the wife and they were like oh they you know, used to get a check for the last like 10 years from like whatever yeah. and then they stopped like what happened my great grandma used to do that so yeah, she would give like the guys in yeshiva yeah. she would give them like a thousand bucks right. and only Years after she died, there like people are coming back with checks. Like yes, yeah. yeah. So well, I mean, <coughs> Rabbi, you you said that just to confirm. He, he's, you he's, okay. Wife, he's okay. He's okay. Anytime you don't let your wife spend money, you're okay. You're smart. <laughs> That's, that, yeah, everyone say uh, good luck. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, oil and it doesn't elevate from there the vitality that, because when a person did something wrong he invested his energy, his vitality, his life until until the day is going to come when death will be swallowed forever so when Mashiach comes death is going to disappear what does that mean? Death is, what does that mean? because death is sadness, death is bad when the world will be objective when everyone will see like going back, what's going on today? We're sitting there watching the news and say, what the heck is going on? How could people be so stupid? Right. And I, you, I, you almost feel like, are you watching the same TV I'm watching? Like, They're what are, so dumb, though. It's like, what are you not, what, what are you not watching? Yeah. As, but you I, know, I, they really don't know. Yeah. I'm, no, talking, no. I'm talking to these people. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, no, my, my, no, wife, no. my wife showed me a video. Guys, of I these, chat with these people like all My wife showed me a video no, of, no, of a lady, when, when of a lady is, holding a poster. And she said, um, she said, uh, it was free free Palestine and and and, and then well, that, that uh, 
I don't, I don't know where it was. He walked up to this girl. She was, I mean, it was an older, older woman, right? She's like holding this like three pounds. Yeah, red, red hat? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I'm against all violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. What, 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 would what would you do? What would you do if you're Israel? She's yeah. Like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, and, and, and it's a, how many kids do you have? I have two right. daughters and five grandkids. Yeah, exactly. So if one of your daughters and two of your grandkids were captured, what would you want? I would want the government to get them. He's like, so? He's yeah. like, I see your point. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I see your point, right? Yeah. So, so you have two problems. People are stupid. <laughs> no, they really, listen, they really don't know. Yeah, yeah. The they don't know. The machine is very big. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. The new internet is social media. And yeah. Assuming from yeah. social media. There's is, a whole Kabbalistic take on uh, that too. When we're weak, they're strong. Yeah. Right. And the only it's, it's reason be... why that happens is when we, it's not that we're getting punished, it's just that when we choose to push away Hashem's protection. Yep. When we no longer, That's... when we don't have the Shekhinah, all of a sudden, as an exposed people, we realize that just like every other Goy, we are going to be, we're going to be wiped out within so, a generation. So this is the prophecy, it'll be, it'll be quick. So this is the prophecy Yitzchak gives to Yaakov in Parshas. This is Parshas Vayer. Yes, Chayesar told us. When Yitzchak blesses Yaakov, he steals yeah, the blessings. Yeah, yeah. And this is, this is what he tells him. As long as you are straight, you're invincible. The who, moment he says it to who? Yaakov. Yitzchak says it to Yaakov. Yitzchak says it to Yaakov. Yeah. Anyway, so he says, until Mashiach will come and, and the world will be objective, not subjective anymore. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. It's going to be clear as day. And it says in Zechariah, the spirit of impurity I will remove from the earth. Oh, until, or... A person doesn't have to wait until Mashiach comes. We're going to learn in tiny in depth later on. There's two different types of teshuva a person can do. There's lower lower level of teshuva, and there and there's higher level of teshuva. Says it says lower it's a lower level of teshuva is it teshuva meira teshuva from from fear right? You're afraid of what's going to happen to you, whatever it is. So what happens is you remove the punishment. The act is still there, but you remove the punishment. Then there's the shuvah me'ava, shuvah from love, and then we're going to get into a, a little deeper. But there's a level of teshuvah where a person does such a great teshuvah where his sins become like merits. Only with love. Yeah. I say, yeah, yeah. Only with love. It's ava, but um could leave it from the depth of his heart. Is that an because example? Perhaps a Balsham Tov story? Can you give me like an example? <laughs> Oh, like, uh, I don't know if it's from any any a person that did such a shiva or a story. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. I mean, there's I the story. The one where he went with prostitutes and then yeah, he died. Yeah, a lozer, a rabbi there. A lozer ben the door, yeah. So maybe, but I don't think that that's an example of this. I think that no. this, is there a, this rabbi that I follow, uh, <laughs> prostitutes. Rabbi Uri Zohar, Who? Uri Zohar, uh, he used to be Uri famous. Uh, Uri Geller, fam Rabbi Geller? No, Uri Geller. Okay. Uri Zohar. He used yeah. to be a famous actor in Israel. There okay. were a lot of cult movies until his 40s. Okay. And then he did Teshuvah. I think in his, like, when, in his script, like what he writes and his lectures and stuff, he's talking about like understanding that the world has there is someone who is deciding on on the, on how you perform between good okay. and bad, and that that's, always felt that's to me chapter like three it from, from Yira. That's, cha that's chapter three of Perki Yovot. Akavim and Mahalo Oimer stuck up shlosha dvarim ve'enat abay ladevir. Look at three things and you won't come to sin. Dalaf ni me'at oimer no no before you stand. Wait, hold on. Can you give me the, wait? So you what? know it's a sin if there if you. Like there are the three things. No, no. So no so th look, remember three things. You will never come to sin. Where you okay. come from, where you're going, yeah. and where you come from, where you're going, and who and before whom you're gonna you stand. stand Whoa! This is a note for. So chapter three, three of Perkei Avos. Right. Right. Chuva I means right. a, a chuva from Ava, and this is why the the, the Bali Chuva, the repentant man, stands higher than a tzaddik, yeah. is because a tzaddik yeah. has no experience with the darkness. He exists only in the light. Yeah. And what if you were to be exposed to the darkness? I mean, we, we, we can safely assume nothing would happen, but maybe the, the, the Baal Teshuva repents to God from the darkness. It's the darkness that's motivating. Morty, I gotta this. ask. Can you repeat that, please? No, look at chapter th uh, three of, of Pergillot. After the class, I'll show it to you. So, th that's, that's, so there's a level where the sins, I mean, he can never go back because it's the very sin motivating to do the mitzvah. So the, actually, there's a story. It's like a pendulum. 
Yeah. Right. It's but it's not swinging back though. Exactly. Right. Yes. There's a story <laughs> of what. <laughs> there's a story with with um, about Levi Yitzchak like of kids behave. That's what happens when you have whiskey and beer. You get that out of control. Uh, the, the the story with Levi Yitzchak like Berditchev. He Levy. met a, he met a guy on the streets before before Rosh Hashanah, before Yom Kippur, and he said, you know, I'm jealous of you because you're such a great sinner. So me. You know, I'm a mitzvah, I'm a mitzvah, but you, you're such a great sinner. You're a professional sinner. Your, your sins could become merits. That means you have a lot to, uh, a lot to accomplish. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> By the way, we, I once had a person on my Shabbos table say, so that we, we, it's a, we're not kosher, we keep treif. I'm like, you, oh, you, shit, you're I'm like you're, you keep treif? Like you're, you're shame or treif? I'm like, it's one thing to say, I don't need kosher, but I keep treif? I'm like, that's a, that's a whole nother level. <laughs> anyway, so this teshuva is teshuva mi'ava but this teshuva from the depth of the heart. Be'ava with a love, be'chasheka, and a desire. Be'nefesh she'keka le'dafka be'yisparach, and the passion, the soul's passionately desiring to connect to God. Meaning, it's the, the sin creates distance, and this distance is, is creating a, 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 a chasm, a, a separation, and the soul wants to close that distance. With Hashem, and the soul is thirsting for God, Ke'eretz, Ayafa V'tziah, like, just like a parched and barren soil, th- a thirst for water. Leo, this is because, Ki Ad Heina, until now, until, as long as he was in a state of sin, in a state of distance, Nafsho Yitzhiya V'tzamovis, the soul was in the wilderness and in the shadow of death. Which is the sitter? He has sitter achra. We're a chaykim or pnei Hashem betachlis, and he was absolutely um, distant from God. You can't cut it two ways. You can't have it both ways. If a person is sinning; he is distant from God. That's the lights are about to turn off. Um, that, that, that's the way. That's the way it is. Like I said, in here, Al Tareb is very, very objective. Either you are, or you ain't. There is no middle ground. Well, Zeis, and because he's distant. Um, it's uh, nafsh, uh, nafsh uz, his soul thirsts with a much greater thirst. That means the, the, the tzaddik, the righteous man, doesn't have this, I mean, a, a trust fund kid doesn't have the, the, the hunger in the belly. It's the poor kid that grew up in a project that has a hunger in the belly, who's tasted hunger, so to speak, who skipped a meal. Oh, there you go. Wait, no, don't get on camera. Do it on camera. Oh, sorry, I gotta do it on camera. For the first time. Alexa, Genesis 1. Okay. Uh, you had the hand symbols and all that. <laughs> Michelangelo, you can come take me now. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so the, so I mean. So Writer's the, credit, Eric Schaub. Exactly. <laughs> all the way in tiny, tiny, tiny print. <laughs> So the tzaddik has never tasted separation. The tzaddik doesn't know, doesn't know, doesn't know what it means. It's the Baal Teshuva who was in a state of distance. Um, that's why he has a much greater thirst with Simon Nashim Satsikim from the souls that are righteous who never did their sin, who never sinned. Kamemer um, Zal, like it says in, um, in the, the Gemara says in Brachot, Omdim, in the place where the penitent man stands, it says, it doesn't quote the whole thing, it says even completely righteous people, because we, we learned in chapter one, there's completely righteous, and then there's pretty, pretty, good, pretty good guy. Righteous. Righteous, right? So it's not the Gomer, but 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 the Gomer says, where, where Baal Shuba stands, even a perfectly righteous person can't, um, can't stand. Baal Shuba, and, and uh, regarding this great Shuba, Amru, it says, When a person is so, it's the distance that makes him, that makes him um, want him more. So let, let me give you a, an, an example, so to speak. Not a perfect example. So in, in the Jewish religion, there's a concept that when, when, a, when, a, when a woman is having a period, the husband and wife have to separate. Now, one of the, one of the, one of the positives that come out of that, they separate, they sleep in separate beds, they can't talk. They can't talk. They can't. They can't talk. Ah, 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 no, it's not. Oh, it's Freud, it slips. <laughs> Wait, pause for editing. Just like stand there. Okay. Then... So after the class, in, in the extras, I'll tell you a good forty and slip joke. <laughs> also, can't be recorded. Anyway, so they have to talk. I meant to say they they, they can't touch. But what happens is, as a result of, of the separation, they develop a they, they develop a desire to be together. So it's the separation. 
that, that brings a desire. The tzaddik never experiences separation. He, he's, on a cra- he's on a crazy high level. Because, because it's, the, it's the separation, it's the sins that, that bring him to this great love. Now, it doesn't mean I'm going to sin in order that should do shiva. Because it, one of the things it says in the Gemara is someone who sins on, on condition to do to, sit, to do teshuva, his teshuva is not accepted. Wait, I, what does that mean? That means if someone sins and say, don't worry, I'll, do, I'll repent later, you can't. It's not Because <coughs> the, the whole idea of teshuva is you go to God and say, listen, God, really, I love you. I was caught up in the moment. I didn't mean it. But you can't rely on, on that when, you, when the person is sinning. I mean, huh? Lay away. Well, exactly. <laughs> well, but if you say I'm going to do the shuba as part on this, you know, if you're yeah, but it has to be after the fact. It has to be after, after the fact. The fact. But yeah, then, after but, the fact. But let's say you you fall, you know, and you and you and you sin again or whatever. No, that, but okay, so but that's but then, a different thing. Yeah, and no, that's, that's something else. You're never the process of tshuva is there's like a climb and then there's an expected descent. No, like, so the, like the, 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 is the, an, the answer is you didn't do tshuva properly. It's scary. That's the answer. The answer is you didn't do tshuva properly. Yeah. But by the way, talking about folding, you know the old joke. This, 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 the old priest retires and he hires a new priest. Now, the old, old priest was one of the real believers. So he couldn't stand it when people came and they said, I stole or I did, I, I committed uh, this, that. So for, every, for every sin, he had a code word. And then he would give them their, pen, their penance, whatever it is. So for adultery, he, instead of saying I committed adultery, he would say, I, uh, the person would say, I have fallen. So when, I the have new, fallen. so when the new priest came, the guy forgot to give the list of the code <coughs> word. So the new priest is walking on the street, and the mayor comes to him, says, so how's it going? He says, oh, yeah, it's very good, but I have to tell you, you got a serious problem with the infrastructure of the city. What are you talking about? People are coming to me, telling me they're tripping and they're falling for, for every, all the time. So the mayor starts laughing because he realizes, he says, I wouldn't laugh if I were you. Your wife tripped twice this month. <laughs> uh, anyway, so Avil, however, let, let's finish, let's try to finish to the, to, to the new thing on 121. But the case of repentance, it's not out of this love. It's good, it's good teshuva. It's not, it's bad. It's a good teshuva. And Hashem forgives him. But the sins don't become like merits. It's not already that high level. And it doesn't elevate from klipa until the time of a shechem, sheibolem, sheivlum, mavas anatzach, when death will, um, will, will come, will be elevated forever. So that's all talking about when a person did did the right thing for the wrong reasons, or if he did the wrong thing and he did the, and he, and he did the shiva. But the doctor is gonna, is gonna talk about, actually gonna go sort of on the side, it, it, it getting into the idea of Zerah, why it's so holy, and why it's such a big, why it's such a big Avera for the wasteful ammunition emin- of seed, it cut its potential. That's already going to be, it's called sort of be a uh, parenthesis. Wait, so wasteful emanation of seed is so what? A big Avera. Major of air. Wasteful, I mean. Ammunition of seed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Am I, am I off camera? So we're, Cut. We're stopping at.